Hello guys, salamat po muli sa pagtutok dito sa showbiz. Look out at ito po ang ating... Balita on, good news naman po tayo kay Katim Bernardo at sa iba't iba pang celebrities. Yan nga po ang the internet's favorite na nepo female celebrities. These celebrities work hard to earn a name for themselves. Check out the internet's favorite na nepo female. You can also read more on the link in our bio. May kita nga po natin ano, ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng nepo baby. What is a nepo baby? To be a nepo baby means to be born with connections that benefit one's career. These kids get fame and fortune handed to them on a silver platter because of their last names or because they already know someone in the industry. In the Philippines, nepo babies are common too. If you look closely at our pool of local celebrities, you won't be surprised to find that most of them are related, benefiting from each other's fame. But who are the celebrities who work hard to earn a name for themselves? Sino-sino nga po ba sila? Siyempre, may kita natin number one na nga dyan, si Miss Catherine. Catherine is undoubtedly one of the best actresses of her generation. What she has made of herself is impressive considering how she built her career based on pure talent alone. ABS events It Might Be You in 2003 kick-started her career followed by Super Ingo in 2006. But it was her role as Mara David Mara Del Valle in the 2010 drama Mara Clara that paved the way for dozens of high-ticket projects in the coming years and now Catherine is hailed as Asia's Superstar. At yan nga, yan nga si Miss Catherine. At syempre kasama rin dyan si Miss Nadine Lustre. President Nadine Lustre is not a nepo baby. She's a self-made woman. Nadine lived a simple life as the eldest of four children. She took her first few steps into the limelight when she was eight years old as TV host in the children's show Storyland. A few years later, she signed up with Viva Entertainment and landed the role of Eya Rodriguez in the movie Diary ng Pangit 2014, the movie that propelled her to fame. To date, Nadine has a long list of movies and TV series under her belt, not to mention an album and handful of singles. At syempre si Ms. Sarah Hieronimo. Sarah Hieronimo had humble beginning living in Santa Cruz, Manila with her parents, a retired PLDT employee and a beauty salon owner. And as the third of four children at the ripe young age of two years old, she started singing and joining auditions and shows. In 22 2002, Sarah won the TV singing contest Star for a Night. Her prizes included one million pesos in a contract with Viva Entertainment and the rest is history. Today, Sarah is an award-winning singer and an ex exceptional actress. At sino pa nga ba? Siyempre, nandyan din si Liza Soberano. Don't make the mistake of brushing Liza off as a nepo baby just because she's half Filipina. This woman had to start from scratch and climb her way to the top. Liza was born to a Filipino father and an American mother and was raised in California. When she was 10 years old, she flew to the Philippines to live in Manila. Liza modeled for print ads for a while be before a talent scout discovered her in 2010 and launched her showbiz career. She made her acting debut in Once Upon a Time and went on to become a phenomenal actress and recording artist in her own right. Ayan nga ang mga hinahangaan na mga artista. Ito ang kanilang mga pinagdaanan. Ito po ba ating balitaan? Please huwag niyo pong kalimutang mag-like, share, and subscribe. Photos always credit to the rightful owner. Maraming salamat po.